Hey awesome universe, so that's my review of Walsam, how you doing? Hope you've a good review on the world. Well guys, I can tell a lot of people, especially from the UK, have been wanting me to get to this group, basically, and uh, yeah, Group D. Yes, where England is, where Italy, Uruguay, and Costa Rica is, so let me get to it. Basically, the first game of the day yesterday was Uruguay versus Costa Rica. Uruguay was mostly all over Costa Rica. I've got to admit, the, the Joe Campbell, who plays for Costa Rica up front, who apparently is, uh, plays for Arsenal, and uh, basically, apparently, he actually had a very good game. I've got to admit, he was, he was pretty impressive. Costa Rica's most dangerous player on the pitch, basically. And, uh, yeah, so uh, basically... Logano, when uh, there was a set piece, they crossed it in, and basically Logano. At first, we all thought that the, that it wasn't a penalty, and basically, like they gave it for a hand ball, and it was going to be a free kick the other way. But actually, they gave it for a penalty for Logano being holded down in the in the box. So basically, it was a penalty, and Cavani converted and scored the penalty. Half time, one 0 to Uruguay. You think, yep, Uruguay are going to basically go on and win this. And, but unbelievably, Costa Rica came back and absolutely destroyed destroyed Uruguay, you know, who Uruguay are two-time World Cup champions, the first ever country ever to win the World Cup, you know, I think they're still actually the, uh, the Copa America champions as well, of South America, so pretty, inc pretty impressive, Suarez, as we all know, you know, he had surgery, so he, I think they were waiting to keep him on the bench so he wouldn't, and risk him to keep him healing and everything, but I think he'll be ready for the game against England, but yeah, go on, mate. pretty shocked and impressed by Costa Rica. But uh, mostly the one that shined for me was uh, Joe Campbell, who plays for, apparently he was a youngster who plays for Arsenal. So, uh, it looks like Arsenal will probably, uh, it'll be interested to see how he, uh, you know, if, if Arsenal decide to use him next season. Be pretty excited to actually see him start playing some football, because I got I was pretty impressed. But first, obviously, we've got to wait and see how that potential goes, but let me get to the big one. Okay, England, Italy, which started in the UK... At 11 o'clock, oh my god, yes, 11 o'clock, holy crap. Basically, it was, uh, at first, both teams were going for it. Italy had all the possession, but England were having chances, basically. And, yeah, I think, um, but then eventually it was, basically there was a corner. Basically, uh, you know, it, I think it was definitely a, uh, definitely a training regime. You know, you could definitely tell they had already worked on this many times. Because uh, Pirlo did the dummy, came to Mikisio, he, fi he, he finished it, great finish from outside the box. Uh, had Joe Hart well beaten. And basically, and the, but then a minute or two minutes later, Rooney did a great, a great cross with his left foot. And Daniel Sturridge was there to just tap it in. And yeah, so at half time, it was, um, it was basically 1-1. But then uh, basically... Uh, you know, basically, I think this is where Italy mostly were dangerous with their right back. Because he kept cutting in on his left. He kept, cut, you know, crossing with his right. And he kept having his own chances. So the guy, was, the, the guy who was playing that right back for Italy was awesome. And he had a really good game. He made uh, Leighton Baines really have to work hard. But Leighton Baines, had a, for, I got to admit, Leighton Baines for me had a bad game. But obviously, because he's not exactly fully used to, you know, he doesn't have much experience at the World Cup yet. So that's going to build, I think this is a learning experience for him, which is going to be good for him in the future, for future tournaments. And um, obviously Balotelli scored the header and everything, and uh, England had their chances. You know, Rudy had a great chance, you know, um, Ross Barkley came on and had a great chance too to score. But I thought, oh my god, Pirlo had this incredible free kick where... You know, it looks like it's going one way and then it just curled the other way and hit the bar. And oh my god, even Joe Hart actually said wow to Pirlo at the end of the game. What a free kick, but, you know, abs you know, great player. You know, Pirlo's an incredible player. You know, one of my favorites of all time and one of the greatest Italian players to ever live. Uh, I'm glad he's actually won he has actually won the World Cup in 2006. He was a part of that team that won it. So I'm really happy he actually did do it. So, uh, yeah, but Italy won the, the match 2-1. Got to admit, England should be really proud. They, they, I got to they were really impressive and really good. So England definitely should, you know, keep, keep, you know, keep their heads up. They were really good, and uh, I, I think they just came up short when it came to quality and everything. So, uh, yeah, and I think Italy, for me, were just. Uh, I think the difference was they just had bit better quality. That was the only difference on the day. Maybe with a little bit more quality, England would have won this game, or maybe got a draw. So uh, leave a like and comment for your opinions. Subscribe for more videos. And football fans, soccer fans, subscribe to the channel for more videos. Do videos of reviews all the time of football, soccer, and, and also the World Cup. 
and I, I will have Group C for you guys later, the review of that, and yeah, so, and by the way, at the moment, the World Cup has been amazing, absolutely loved it, and I'm, you know, having such a great time reviewing it for you guys, so bye guys, let me remember you're awesome.